My name is Wawad. I come from France, the south of France, Toulouse. I'm 30 years old now and uh, I beatbox like uh, since uh, 16 years now, something like that. That's all for me. Okay. <laughs> My name is Bistie and uh, I come from uh, southwest France too, but different in different city. It's uh, Bordeaux, exactly. I'm 31 years old and um, I uh, started beatboxing uh, uh, in 2005, around it. Yeah. 16 years too, like me. My name is Wilmine, I'm uh, an old guy. Not like Fireboys, but uh, I, I'm, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not so young, okay? Yeah, I practice beatbox since uh, 20 years. 20 years? 20 years? And uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and my name is Bitness. I come from France too. <laughs> and uh, I start beatboxing like uh, 12 years ago. We are very warm. <laughs> <laughs> my first time I heard beatboxing. Uh, my father uh, was a radio speaker and DJ. And uh, one day he came up to me uh, with a tape, an old school tape uh, of Razel. Uh, I was in the club, uh, rehearsal club of my father. And uh, he, he came to me, uh, yeah, do scratch with me. And uh, I tried to, uh, to scratch, but uh, I cannot do it uh, really well. And uh, I was like, uh, I was like, uh, uh, a little bit sad to not uh, really uh, uh, to not be a re really good scratcher, you know? and uh, I was sad. Uh, and uh, I, I go home uh, a little bit sad. And he came, he came up with the tape, with that tape. He said, uh, "This guy he do, doing everything with his mouth." And I said, "Okay." And uh, it was the the most important press play of my life. I was like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> yeah, it was just crazy, man. After that, I, I took the same, the same uh, cassette uh, tape and uh, I put it in another one who, um, who can uh, slow it down, you know? And I slow it down and I tried to do it the same, to do the same. I tried first, uh, I don't know, I, I write some, uh, some phrases on the paper. Uh, if your mother only knew. Huh? And, uh, and I tried to put the P, the PF, and then, uh, the T, etc. And, uh, and I do it. Uh, and I repeat it day after day after day after day till the sound, uh, till the sound uh, is good. The first time I heard beatboxing, it was on YouTube. The first video I saw, yes, is da Daichi, the wild card for the World Beatbox uh, Championship. And uh, when I watched the video, I was, uh, wow. I replayed uh, the video. After the, um, I saw the video, um, I start to, to check uh, beatbox on YouTube and uh, see uh, other videos. Um, so like tutorial, and I start to, to practice like <laughs> the basics. Uh, the first time was uh, 14 or 15 years ago. Uh, it was uh, during a French TV show. It was just before to go to school and I was eating, you know. And uh, I saw Eclipse on French TV show called the Mor Morning Live. So it's a old TV show. And I saw Eclipse and I was like, what? Because I, I was beatboxing before, but uh, without knowing it's called beatbox, you know, I, it was natural. So I was like, okay, I'm not alone to do that. It's a real discipline, a real art. So he shocked me this day, and uh, after that, I practice every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And I, I really want to do like Eclipse for the beginning. Before, uh, I, uh, it was like uh, sounds, you know, like uh, funny sounds or during the school with my friends. And I was uh, starting to do some first beats, like uh, 
something like that, you know. But before knowing, it was a real uh, discipline, beatboxing. And uh, I remember with my friends, they all, uh, every, everybody said every time, please do, do music, do music, you know. So I was, okay. It was the beginning. And after I discovered Eclipse, and I really know it's a real discipline. And uh, after that, I, I was searching on internet, but it was the beginning of uh, internet. We, uh, YouTube doesn't exist at this period, so I was alone in my city. Uh, I come from a small city, so I discover, and after that, I discover Razel, Faith SFX. It was the first one, and uh, after YouTube come and came, and uh, let's go. It changed uh, literally my life. This this morning because uh, uh, I said in my head, okay, I want to do the same thing and I want to do, I want to, to practice like him and to perform like him. So it was my goal to, to do like Eclipse, you know? Uh, the first time I heard beatbox, about beatbox, uh, I was in my house, I was uh, maybe 15 years old. Uh, I was with uh, with my parents, and uh, and on the TV show I saw um, Kenny Mohamed. It was uh, only 30 seconds to to impress the crowd, and Kenny Mohamed uh, come on stage, and uh, you know, <laughs> you know, but he 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 make better than me, you know. and. Um, <laughs> It, it Apollo show. It was the. the I don't remember the name of. I think the, it's the Apollo the show. show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only 30 seconds to impress crowd. I know. And uh, when I saw that, uh, I, I didn't knew. I didn't know the word beatbox. What is what is that? It's uh, amazing. And I, I research on Google uh, noise with mouse, and uh, I find uh, the word beatbox. And uh, I I search beatbox on internet, and uh, I remember the first um, crew I uh, discover it was Fireboys and Eclipse uh, d'Artifice, oh. and yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, I I uh, I watch all uh, these videos, and I watch a lot of tutorial of uh, LOS 2 French beatboxer. Um, uh, champion 2006, I remember. The French beatbox uh, yeah, French championship. Beatbox championship. The first one, yeah. And yeah, I, I watch a lot of tutorial uh, of this French beatboxer. Uh, Face SFX 2 uh, was one of the first I discovered. The Eclipse, best. yeah. Uh, Equipe d'Artifice, Mike Spot, Firebrass, uh, all the French... Uh, beatboxers and uh, yeah at the beginning it was very French and face SFX when I start beat bo uh, beatbox when I discover beatbox I don't uh, I don't listen I don't listen a lot of stranger beatbox at maybe for one or two years it was only French beatbox I think the first championship um, my first championship, I I was not participant. Uh, it was in 2011. Kim won this year the French uh, beatbox championship, and uh, I saw uh, every everyone share the uh, the beatbox. It was like um, like a big community, like a big brothers, and. Uh, it was the moment I, I tell in myself um, I want to I wanna be a beatboxer uh, all my life. The most important, the first one, the first stranger beatboxer for me was uh, was a face specific and CD. CD, I just uh, watched uh, like like uh, uh, GT Cam uh, skit uh, beatboxing uh, and uh, is my is my space too. I was like, what the, what the hell is it? <laughs> wow, wow. So the, the groove of CD inspired me a lot. And, and the crazy sound around too. Uh, the flow of uh, Face Specifics too is, 
his uh, interpretation, sing, singing, his voice. Uh, and of course, uh, my dad was DJ, so uh, I listened to a lot of music, uh, especially um, uh, American music, uh, black music, uh, soul. Uh, I can say, I can say, uh, you know, Marvin Gaye, uh, uh, Ray Charles, James Brown, Michael Jackson, uh, um, uh, Stevie Wonder, you know. When I decided to do it all my life, uh, not really seriously, but uh, just all my life, I uh, like sport just for fun. Uh, but till the end, uh, that was when I discovered Razel, you know. I said, I, said, I want to do this all my life. And uh, when 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 it becomes become um, when it became uh, serious, I think after after I won the the, the French beatbox championship, yeah, yeah, because it the, it, it was uh, because it was like yeah, okay, it's like a diploma. How do you say diploma? It's like a certificate for my parents. Like uh, you know, so social. Uh, you cannot say I'm beatboxer, and uh, I, s I just came with the with the certificate of I'm I'm French beatbox champion. So le let me do my thing, you know. For me, my biggest inspirations was is uh, Eclipse uh, when I started beatboxing, of course. Uh, Faith SFX too. Uh, Faith SFX and Eclipse, I think I, not I think, I'm sure, I watched all their video on YouTube. E uh, when I was young, every day, I watched the video again and again and again and again. Uh, I don't know why, because just to, I was, uh, for me, the Eclipse and Faith SFX was my star, you know, when I was young. It's uh, two beatboxer, and after I discovered Tom Tom, KRNFX, Felix Zenger too, I remember. Uh, too much beatboxer, I don't know. The French community too, with LOS, Firebrass, Mike Spawn, uh, Beastie too, when I was uh, starting my, yeah. my first event, he was uh, French champion, so, but we, we have the same, uh, the same age, so, you know, it was crazy too. And uh, uh, artists, I really love, uh, you know, hip-hop music, so, French rapper, uh, American too, uh, also, I really love uh, f uh, disco funk music because with my big, uh, my, my family, you know, my big brother, uh, they always listen to this music. So I was born with this style of music in my house. Uh, also, Oriental music too uh, inspired me a lot. Dr. Dre, the, the, the Chronic 2001, was crazy for me when I was young because my big brother, you know, my uh, uncle, say uncle? Uncle. My uncle listened to this uh, album every day. I, uh, I was uh, shocked by the, produ the production of the, uh, this album, you know? Um, so yeah, I think Dr. Dre uh, shocked me uh, when I was young. The, the, the moment like uh, Ritman, and, uh, like Ritman, it's when, when I compete to my first uh, French beatbox championship in 2010. After that, uh, I was like, okay, uh, I need to do, to do that all my life. I need to, to practice and to try to live with the beatboxing. So I was a student and in 2010, so it was complicated, you know, to, to do beatboxing and studies, but I, I continue, I keep going uh, in, uh, in the beatbox scene and the uh, championship. And uh, uh, since 2014 now, uh, beatbox is my life and I, it's my job too, it's my passion. As Wawad and Ritmind, a lot of French beatboxers uh, in the beginning, Equipe d'Artifice, uh, Mike Spawn, LOS, Alem, but also uh, beatboxers like Babeli, I listen a lot to Babeli, yeah. uh, Darny, Tom Tom. I remember I'm, I listen a lot to Michael Jackson, well, it's a classic, but uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson. Uh, I listen a lot of music, uh, hip hop, like Dr. Dre, um, electro music was also, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have. Uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, names. 
the, the moment when we decided to, to do something uh, serious with Barry Warm was in 2015, after the French Beatbox Championship, when we lose in final against uh, Team Punk, you know? Because when we create Barry Warm, Barry Warm sorry, um, at the beginning it was just for the French Beatbox Championship, and after that we were supposed to stop Barry Warm, you know? It was just for fun, for, for, to make this championship. But after that we, we really felt something uh, special, you know, together and like a big alchemy together, we decided, uh, okay guys, uh, what we are doing now, the championship is finished and we, uh, we all want to continue and to, uh, so we was like, okay, le let's do one video on YouTube and we will see. Three videos. No, yeah, three, video. mean three videos. So they come in Toulouse and uh, we was like, okay, free video and uh, we post on YouTube and uh, we, we saw the, the first video going viral, you know, on YouTube, like what, more than one million views. I was like, what? Okay. And after some people said, okay, guys, you have to continue. So we, do, we say, okay. And now, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we continue. What? It was uh, the first video was um, listen to the sound. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Sometimes it was a little bit hard because um, because of people who who have negative thoughts, uh, like uh, beatbox is not a job. Uh, beatbox uh, is not music. Only huh? not music is only funny noise with mouth, and uh, yeah, it was very very hard sometimes. And for everyone, I think uh, our parents too think the same the same thing. Uh, you have to find a job, maybe, you know? <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> no, I want to, to, to be beatboxer, but uh, it's very hard for our parents to understand why we want to, to make this. I think it's the same for all the beatboxers. Yeah, every beatboxer go through the same, I think. Ah, <laughs> now, now, it's, now it's different. Now it's, okay. now it's like this in the crowd. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a joke, for real. So yeah. yeah, now, now the, our parents are really happy. They come to our show and uh, they support us. Uh, we, we saw some comments on YouTube of my, my, my dad. It's, it's weird, but <laughs> oh, come my, on! Yeah. <laughs> you know? And sometimes my, uh, yeah, my parents sometimes call me like, uh, uh, please, uh, can you talk to my friend? They really love Barry Warm, so you know it's. Uh, we are really proud because uh, at the beginning it was uh, it was uh, like Ritman said, uh, really hard to prove uh, to our parents like uh, it's a real uh, commitment, a real job where we can live with beatbox, and uh, now they are really proud, and uh, we are proud of that. We are famous, but uh, we know we are appreciate. I guess, <laughs> I, uh, I, I hope, and um, it's amazing for us to perform in front of uh, a big crowd, uh, to travel all around the world, and uh, to, yeah, it's, uh, to have on social media a lot of people who, who write to us, and um, at the beginning you, uh, we didn't uh, expect that because uh, it was just for fun. And uh, yeah, we, we can just uh, be happy of uh, this situation. The real beginning of Barry Wam, uh, nobody know that, but it was, uh, I think, the real beginning in 2014. The yes, during the, the cup. No, before La Cup. Before, because just before, yeah. We have uh, the, the tag team Fabulous Badness yes. with Bitness and me. And... Uh, we we was in Paris for a big uh, big event. Uh, it was our first uh, big uh, private, private show. Private show, yeah. And uh, we we needed a third beatboxer, you know, to be with us. And Ritmine was in Paris too. Yeah, so. I I just uh, for the history. At this moment, I just lose my uh, permit to conduire, comment dit? Drive. Uh, my drive. Dri I just lose my drive driver licen license license and. Uh, and uh, I stopped my job because of that. So uh, I go in Paris just for chill. And, and we called uh, Ritman uh, and we said, uh, uh, Ritman, we need uh, a beatboxer with us for, for this event. Uh, are you ready? He said, OK, oh, come yes, on. Yes, I'm in, Par in Paris. <laughs> and uh, I was here just for two days. And I stay uh, three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah, it was three weeks in Paris. 
So after that, we, we create a, a big alchemy together because we, we know uh, Ritman before, but uh, during this period, we, we was really, really friendly and uh, we... We became very friendly, yeah. yeah we, we became, became closer. So after this event, the GBB 2015, we discover MB14 this, uh, the, during the GBB 2015. So we directly uh, became good, good friends together. Uh, he was so funny, he was so good uh, with his beatbox, with his voice. We was like, okay, guys, uh, no, 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 we talk uh, with all the community. And after the GBB, uh, the, the French um, championship called La Cup uh, came and uh, with Kim. So Kim called me and he said, uh, Okay, so you, you need three guys with you to to compete in uh, in team. So I was okay, uh, real beastie, uh, beast necessary. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Beastie, so, it's a lot of uh, years after. <laughs> so, uh, beatness of course, and the rhythm too because he's from the south, and I needed uh, uh, a third member, but uh, I, uh, I really want MB14, but he was from the north of the France and not from the south. So we was like, okay, uh, not this time. But so we, we take Kist, so big, big shout out to Kist uh, from the south of France. And we, we create uh, the Team South. And uh, after this event, we, we really felt uh, that we, we, need, we needed uh, to create something uh, with four beatboxers because it was crazy to create together. So after La Cup, we directly called, uh, called the MB14 and we said, OK, uh, do you want to join uh, our, our team to create, uh, we don't know why, but to create together? And MB14 said, well, OK, guys, uh, it's my dream. It's to, my dream. To be part. <laughs> yeah. No, for real. Yeah. <laughs> for, re for real, he said, it's my dream to be part of a beatbox group because it, he, he really loves uh, Pentatonix, Naturally 7. And for, for him, it was a, a dream and for us too to be together, to beatbox together. And he add, added, uh, it's my dream to perform with Will Mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's Barry Wam. Our brand new album, New Instrument, is out now. You can check it on Spotify and all the streaming platforms. Let's go! <laughs>